Got a few updates regarding the Intel graphics cards. I'm really rooting for Intel, not gonna lie. Got some updates regarding the 9000 series of CPUs from AMD. MSI unveiling their Titan 18 Pro Ryzen Edition gaming laptop that I personally think is gonna be pretty sweet because MSI's Katana is still one of my favorite gaming laptops as far as like the budget goes. I'm not saying it's the best laptop, but as far as like the price of it, it is a very, very, very good deal. This right here, GeForce Now Streaming, seems to be available directly on Xbox Game Pass for certain games, which I thought was pretty interesting and would be neat for them to uh, partner up together. And then this right here, Nvidia is gearing up for a $50 trillion AI automation market, says the CEO. But let's go ahead and hop into Intel. Battle Mage BMG G31 GPU spotted and this supposedly features 32 XET cores on the next generation ARC graphics cards. Now the article obviously you can read the entire thing if you would like to but at the end it has the full chart of everything and zoom in for you so that you can see it a little bit better so we have this we don't know the exact whatever graphics card variances are but we have the arc one arc two and then the arc a770 so if we see the gpu die we got the arc bmg g31 the arc g bmg g21 and then we have the arc acm g10 so the processor node is tsmc 5 nanometer so i'm not going to read all over all this stuff. it would just make the video like another 20 minutes long and i'm pretty sure that you guys don't want to um listen to me talk for 20 minutes and i just realized my microphone is like cranked up to the max so i apologize if it's actually getting distorted i really hate windows sometimes i know you guys deal with it just as well just as much as i do uh where, where you turn your computer on and um everything is like reset right so the next article here is battle mage getting ready for battle and intel adding five new devices or device IDs to Linux XE's kernel. That's really all I need to say about that one. This is just kind of like an update on what we can expect for Intel's graphics cards. I, I really am, I'm rooting for Intel right now because for reasons I doubt I need to explain. And then as far as the AMD Ryzen 9000 X 3D series, rumored to support overclocking and then Zen 5 getting improvements with DDR5 memory support. This is honestly one of the reasons I don't like to build computers with AMD's 7000 series CPUs is because it's not necessarily AMD's fault. It's more so, it's more so the like the compatibility with certain speed RAMs. Like if you if you get a 7000 series uh, CPU from AMD, do not get Team Group T-Force DDR5. It works with, with what I've never run into an issue with it with Intel. And this also includes like, like my, I literally have it in my computer over there. That's team group. Whoa. I literally thought I was about to get a blue screen of death when that, when that drop down happened. <laughs> so I was about to eat my words. Four sticks of four sticks of DDR five all running at 7,200 megahertz. I've had the XMP profile ever since I built that computer on the MSI's Z790 Ti edge. And I've not run it. I haven't had a blue screen. I, and that's why I said, I literally, are you kidding me? Did I just eat my words? Um, a blue screen of death. Let me show you what, what I meant. Like, so right here, this is what happened. And I got that drop down. I, and like the blue screen has that like effect where it, like, it drops down. So I literally thought that's, that's what was about to happen. Uh, but it's it's only with the the 7,000 series of CPUs from AMD. They don't, it, none of the RAM. But anyways, the reason I'm saying that is because you need specific RAM, like uh, G-Skill makes AMD specific RAM, and I'm pretty sure Corsair also makes AMD specific DDR5. And then if you try to use any other memory, if you try to use whatever, any other memory, um, at least from what I've experienced, uh, like the XPG memory, then you got the, obviously the team group, then you got Corsair, which does work but you need the amd specific ram and then the same thing with g skill they they have amd specific ram and the reason that they do that is because if you don't get amd specific ram for the 7000 series cpu you're pretty much just gambling with whether or not your computer runs well you know what i mean like linus even made a video on this he went to over in china and he bought like some random uh pc at a mall 
for like five thousand dollars that was that was actually one of my favorite videos he's ever made uh, and then like he whatever the the seller because i built i run a pc building business myself real quick just wanted to say that if you would like a pc from me my facebook business page is linked down in the description below i do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts which i do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below so it was just it was cool to see it was just cool to see it was it really was one of my favorite videos so this right here nvidia gearing up for a 50 trillion dollar ai automation market says the ceo and that blackwell is going to be the most successful product in the firm's history and i absolutely agree i 100 percent agree with this so a lot of people that are complaining about the uh the pump and dump situation that happened i i guess it's not technically a pump and dump anybody that was ever into the crypto scene knows what that situation is um or if you know who boogie the whatever the boogie 2918 or i don't remember the exact the number but boogie the the big guy uh he he literally just did a pump and dump with some like sort of like fatty crypto meme um actually uh moist critical charlie penguinzo whatever you want to call him he's had multiple names over the years um, I just call him Charlie, but he made a video on this last night about how much of a turd bag he actually is. Uh, but either way, this is kind of like a situation that happened with Nvidia. For those of you that are following the stock market, somebody or somebody, um, a lot. I I don't know who it was. Like a lot of people said it was the the CEO, but I, as far as I'm concerned, dude, Jensen has like he doesn't need to do that. Like he doesn't like he has more than enough money. He doesn't need to like remove all of his like savings from nvidia so the the comments that are saying that i don't believe that but it's it's kind of like the doctor disrespect situation everyone wants to leave an opinion and take a wild guess without like realizing the impact that it has on that one single person that you're like trying to obliterate you know what i mean like i'm not defending doctor disrespect and saying that he's not a a, a turd bag for like doing that to to his wife and also has a kid but it's like dude that stamping that pdf file onto somebody you know what i mean that's like the worst possible stamp that you can give somebody i would rather be in jail for murder than have the pdf file stamped on me you know what i mean obviously i don't want either one of them but i'm just saying like people don't think about the impact of their opinion on another person so anyways I just find this very dude AI has me so interested specifically as a creator and it's not it's not all good stuff like I'm it's it's honestly frightening for me as well as a business but like dude I got very lucky with all of this computer stuff like I don't think people realize just how lucky I got so like the the people that do ask me like questions like with my PC business and like how I got that started I admit it to people, dude, like I got very lucky with how everything unfolded for me. Like I owe, like this is the, the level of luck that came my way. Okay. I had a channel that I spent seven years growing just off of gaming videos, like making like, like I was actually the footage you're seeing, like the, this, the footage you're seeing is destiny Two on PC, but I started my channel with the original destiny. And that's really how I grew that channel. But like I had i had a lot of stuff that i was dealing with mentally and like a bunch of addictions that i was trying to get rid of and when i entered recovery i replaced all of that stuff with video games so destiny became my new addiction and i was playing destiny for like 12 13 14 hours every single day and i was like pretty much just making videos like how to get this thing how to do this thing this review whatever it was just a bunch of guides on destiny um wow i i don't even remember i, I know i was going somewhere with that i'm so i i'm so sorry that happens to me so i and then like i go to explain why it happened and then everyone's like oh you keep repeating yourself i'm just trying to be like honest you like I, I i have high functioning autism so my brain never shuts off i know i was explaining this for a reason and it, it really annoys me that i don't remember now but nvidia gearing up for oh ai and stuff 
so um the level of luck with the pc okay i because it always comes back to me i just i forget because my mind's like it never turns off so i i forget it always comes back to me within a few seconds but uh so i like i had started with destiny and then are you serious brain get out of here ai i really uh, dude i feel bad sometimes i feel bad but i like i don't want to like edit it out because i know other people deal with it and it's like relatable but so ai nvidia destiny pc business okay so i i started that i grew a big following like big following off of gaming and like then i started making ps5 videos and then covid like this is the level of luck that i fell into <laughs> okay so like worldwide pandemic type of luck and then not only worldwide pandemic type of luck we also have the level of luck to where sony and all these other companies during the pandemic chose to not put their stuff in stores but not only did these massive companies not choose not to put their stuff in stores we also have ai booming all of a sudden so now we have like these bots that can poof instantly purchase everything immediately and you have thousands of things coming to you and now real people can't get it but not only that <laughs> like do you see the level of luck that i run into here so anyways i'm talking about like when people ask me about the pc stuff dude like i don't think like the level of luck that i fell into obviously it took me seven years worth of effort to fall into this and then it also like if this would have just happened without that seven years of understanding how to do all of this stuff it would have failed by now um so that's where i was going with this i don't remember exactly why i was saying that but i know i know that's what i wanted to say i just don't remember what what exactly it was for the re oh so and then the artificial intelligence so that's where i was going after that next step of luck so artificial intelligence started like booming right <laughs> so so now we're now we're like we got all those other like lucky situations <laughs> and then ai what do you need for ai you need a computer <laughs> so so everybody was buying computers from me and like everybody's stuck at home so everybody wants a computer like i don't like people don't like I, I tell everybody that that's like, I, I always tell people that before they like want to, they want me to hop on a call with them and give, give them advice. I'm like, bro, like you need to understand like a lot of what I have and a lot of like, like the success that you see me having right now and the m amount of money that I'm making, it is luck. Like it is pure luck. But the thing is, is when I say this, you need to understand the following. Okay every business owner does this this happens to every single one of them okay the difference is that certain business owners that actually succeed had already been through one or two failed businesses and because of that they have the knowledge on how to actually operate the 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 business that they luckily fell into and that's where i'm getting at like I would not understand like the computer stuff and like uploading it to YouTube. And then because of that and me sending traffic over to Amazon and them inviting me to the influencer program, which then turned into this like massive affiliate thing and brand deal thing and sponsorship thing. Like I would not understand any of this stuff. So it never would have worked out for me, you know? So anyways, yeah, that's, that's it. And then the last thing is just GeForce now available on Xbox game pass, which I just thought was interesting. And I wanted to share it with you. It's not for every game, uh, but you can see here Street Fighter 6. It's got Call of Duty Warzone. You got Biohazard. And uh, yeah, so I think that that would be a really cool partnership for them to partner together. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I got my cookies in the oven. I can smell them burning. Peace.